I'm going to teach you how to combine a CG object into a 2D image in Blender Cycles something like this shown here so we'll start first of all delete this cube and switch into Cycles Render and set the camera region size same as the image size that you are going to use so press N and click on this background images click on add images open up your file click on this front button so image will be in front of the the object something like this now press shift a and add a plane scale it 8 units now press 0 to go to camera view and select the camera and press shift f and set the plane as approximately matching the plane in the image no need to be precise okay this is good okay now add your object whatever the object is keep it above the plane but don't forget to little bit put it under the plane something like this so it doesn't look like it's floating in the air now add a subdivision surface modifier press T and shading option set it to smooth okay now while the Susan is selected press M and move it on second layer and uh, select this lamp and move it onto second layer as well shift click on second layer so all of them will be visible move this lamp in the direction of the sun in image approximately so open this lamp properties click on use nodes and select type of lamp as sun and set its direction towards the object it's important now we are done with our setup we will now do some separation in render layers click on this plus button here and double click and name it monkey in this layer the monkey will be only visible thing click on this mask first layer so the f the plane will be excluded from that second layer and everything else will be there and the shift click on okay that's no need so in the first layer which is the basic so we in this layer we need only the plane visible so click on this first tab here so it will make only this plane visible okay split the window in half click here 
and select node editor click on this second option click on use nodes and backdrop shift control shift click to get this viewer node control click and drag shift click to make a connection here okay in this layer options just click these two options shadow pass and ambient decision pass okay so we have these tabs now select this render layer press shift D and duplicate and select the monkey layer here okay now we need our image too so into image input select image click here and select our image okay so we'll just quickly render it before that you need to make the background trans transparent so click on this transparent option in film section click on render okay it's now rendered so we need to combine the shadow and shadow and AO pass so we'll use color mix node join the shadow and AO pass into the appropriate image input press shift A and add RGB curves because the shadow will be too dark of the shadow pass layer so we need to make it lighter so we are going to use these uh, RGB curves node for that and uh, click this small button here and drag it up about there this will make the shadow much lighter select this blend type to multiply as you can see here the shadow is becoming dark when we bring the starting of this curve down and when we set up there it becomes light so it will look much more natural now we will add a, a scale node in this dot and join with the image layer please click this uh, space to render size Okay, so we will duplicate this multiply node by pressing shift D, put it in between there and join it with this image output. So as you can see here we have this shadow on the ground. but the background and the Suzanne layer is still missing so we will use an alpha over node connect this layer in this layer as well if it doesn't shows up just switch it the input okay so we have this our monkey head and background we are going to duplicate the alpha over node 2 and as the first image input we are going to use the image as well but nothing happens cause the black part is uh, not not letting the image to show up so we need to cut that out 
we are going to use this alpha out as a factor of that alpha over node so it's done here for this part and we can see the monkey head and the shadow as well so we will get back into the 3d view if you want to just you can make it bigger or adjust its position if you want and you can add some text too now as you can see here in this case the bottom part of y is crossing this plane and uh, it's for this case under the ground so <coughs> it's not going to be an issue for us because we already said this blending this layer mark so the plane will be excluded from this monkey layer so it's in second layer as you can see this orange dot and if we render it now the the bottom part of y will not be shown in the image as it should be so we are done here and hope you learned something from it and see you next time